Hi, I'm Dr. Jordan B. Peterson, and you're watching Ethan Van Skyver, comic book artist extraordinaire and illustrator of my book, 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos, on comic artist pro secrets. Bye-bye. What the f- What if Alden Ehrenreich is a better Han Solo than Harrison Ford? Yeah. What if he's a better Rhett Butler than Clark Gable? What if he's a better Rick Blaine than Humphrey Bogart? Yeah, what if? <laughs> Yo, you crackers be trifling at Movie Web. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I uh, really do appreciate you. This is Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I am Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book artist for 25 years and also a big Star Wars fan. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you're just uh, someone who is watching these videos, why not subscribe and hit that bell for notifications? You don't want to miss any of these awesome live streams or any of these videos uh, in which I confront MovieWeb.com, which has basically become uh, a website solely uh, you know, devoted to uh, annoying me. Guys, you can't annoy me. I've seen Last Jedi. I've been to the mountaintop of irritation. You guys, you guys are just like a fly, like bzzz, like that. Last Jedi was the ultimate. It was the ultimate. It was like, um, I don't know, it was like torture. It was pure, it was like water torture. It was like being waterboarded by Gungans. All right, so what if Alden Ehrenreich uh, is a better Han Solo than Harrison Ford? All right, that's an interesting what if. What if? I like the Twilight Zone, Kevin Berwick. I like it. Uh, let's let's run with your premise here. What if Alden Ehrenreich is a better Han Solo than Harrison Ford? Yeah, saying that is blasphemous. I know. Then why did you say it? Why are you speaking blasphemy? Why are you speaking in forked tongue, Kevin Berwick? Why? And a bit of a troll move. Yeah, a bit. Some may think we're simply trying to anger Rose Tico loving YouTubers. That's me. You're talking about me there, Kevin Berwick. I see you. I see you. Um, we're trying to be contrarian, but we've only ever seen one man offer his interpretation of a character that has spanned a huge amount of media beyond the four media movies he's appeared in thus far, not counting Solo. Um, let me explain that to you, Kevin. Uh, the reason why... Uh, Han Solo has spanned a huge amount of media is because this man was incredibly interesting. Now, had uh, anyone else played Han Solo, uh, he would not have spanned uh, all of that media. Star Wars is lightning in a bottle, okay? It's not uh, any one particular thing. Uh, it's the culmination of everything, every element. Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. Um, Han Solo, um, portrayed by Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia, even Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca served his purpose. Uh, it's about the special effects at the time, sure, but that's only a small thing. It really is about just the sparkling personality and dynamics of the people who portrayed these characters, uh, interacting with their fascinating environment. Um, that's what Star Wars is. That is the phenomenon. It can't be, it can't be duplicated by dummies. It can't be. You can try it, but you will fail. Uh, well, you won't fail. You'll, you'll sort of peter out. Watch. I mean, people. Star Wars has built up so much goodwill um, that you know. Yes, yeah, Solo is going to do well. I am projecting uh, a minimum of three hundred and forty million dollars opening weekend. That's what I am expecting to see from Solo. Um, I can't picture it doing any less than that. I really can't. And if it does do less than three hundred and forty million, I will be shocked. I'll be shocked. I'll, I'll have to declare it a failure. Um, $340 million. Just because Star Wars fans love this franchise so much. So, so much. So, as fans, we, we are so entrenched in what Harrison Ford did as the space smuggler. Many of us will never be able to see past that and accept Aaron Reich. Accept what Aaron Reich brings to the uh, character. Uh, I won't be doing every time, don't worry. I just did it once. I didn't like it myself. Uh, let me know in the comments if you hated it. Um, and for all we know, it could be a better interpretation as originally envisioned by George Lucas. For all we know. Well, I mean, if we were, uh, you know, if you wiped our brains uh, and we were as infants 
having no worldly experience, yeah, for all we know, um, Aaron Wright could be as good as uh, Harrison Ford or Clark Gable or Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, could be. Could be. But with age comes wisdom. Um, simply because what Harrison Ford means to all of us as Han Solo will never realize. I gotta read this slow. God, Kevin, damn you. Get an editor. Um, simply because what Harrison Ford means to all of us as Han Solo will never realize that or accept it to be true. That is not a sentence, which is probably okay. That is also not a sentence. We didn't really need this movie in the long run, as many fans have pointed out. But as Solo quickly approaches, I've decided to give Alden Ehrenreich the benefit of the doubt. Good, me too. Me too. Uh, I have. Um, sure, the trailers don't bode well for the guy. Why do you say that, Kevin? You didn't like the trailers? Oh, that's interesting. Well, a lot of people that are attacking uh, channels such as mine. Well, there is no channel such as mine, really. Comic Artist Pro Secrets uh, stands, you know, uh, head and shoulders above the rest, especially the mainstream um, BS, uh, shill, Star Wars websites, and... Um, uh, YouTube channels. Uh, there is nothing like our channel, which is why we get referenced all the time um, by, uh, you know, websites such as this. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I uh, am surprised that you will admit that the trailer uh, trailers have not been good. Everyone else is saying they, they have been good, except for me. Um, but sometimes things are out of context. This could be great. Even if, in all likelihood, it's probably not. Kevin, what are you writing this article for? Take a stand. I have taken a stand. I have said that this movie is going to be awesome. If you like soy, if you are a soy boy, if you are willing to check your balls at the gate, and I am, temporarily. I want them back on the way out. But I'm, I'm willing to go in there um, and, uh, and just accept Alden Aaron Reich. I'm willing to accept uh, a different guy in the Chewbacca suit, a guy who sensuously hugged Ron Howard, according to his own admission, and made his career as a filmmaker. Like, that was a big moment in his life. Um, yeah, I'm willing to uh, accept Childish Gambino as um, Lando Calrissian. I'm willing to. Yeah, I am. Uh, all right, so lucky attendees of the Cannes Film Festival will be treated, treated uh, to a screening of Solo this week with the movie simultaneously premiering in Los Angeles on the same day. Alden Ehrenreich's young Han Solo performance will finally be put on display in full, though Donald Glover seems to be getting the most attention as of now for his betrayal, I mean, not betrayal, portrayal, I'm sorry. Did I mean betrayal? Let me think about that. Of a young Lando Calrissian, many Star Wars fans have been very skeptical of Aaron Reich's acting abilities, only because, only because, Lucasfilm and sources within Lucasfilm leaked it to garbage tier uh, websites such as yours uh, that he cannot act and that it has been a problem on the set. We wouldn't have any idea otherwise. I mean, sure, we had our preferences about who would portray uh, Han Solo, if not Harrison Ford, uh, a young version. Uh, there are, uh, there's one in particular, one guy who is, uh, does an excellent, excellent impersonation of Harrison Ford as Han Solo. He, he might have been good. He might have been good. But, you know, uh, we don't judge. We don't judge here. We are, we are, we're willing to wait for data to come in. And, and the data that did come in came in through websites such as yours telling us that people on the set were troubled. Troubled by Aaron Reich's uh, inability to act, um, to read his lines. Uh, and thus we have become... Uh, wary, wary of this movie. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but seriously, what if, but seriously, was that a joke? What if Aaron Reich ends up doing an even better job? That Harrison Ford, Kevin, get an editor. That Harrison Ford did in the original trilogy. Ford famously gave Aaron Reich advice on how to approach the young Han Solo. And Alden had the benefit of working with longtime Star Wars enthusiast and Willow director, Willow director, <laughs> Ron Howard, as well as George Lucas for one day of filming, which could hold the key to the young actor's success. 
don't, do, why do these articles get written, written? Kevin, why are you writing this article? This doesn't mean anything to anyone. This is you speculating, even though it's pretty clear that you are biased against this movie. You are biased against Alden Ehrenreich. You don't think he can do it. This is all just a joke to you. Well, I'm here to tell you that even though I don't think, I don't think Alden Ehrenreich uh, is, is going to be nearly as good as, Hans, as Harrison Ford, as Han Solo. I don't think he has it in him. I don't think he has it in him. And yet, I am willing to give him the benefit of the doubt that he could be maybe the 38th best possibility as Han Solo. You're not even willing to give him that. You're not even willing to put him in the same line as any actor who could portray Han Solo half as well as Harrison Ford. You aren't willing to say that is why you're writing this terribly sarcastic article. Now, I abhor sarcasm. I cannot, cannot abide the sarcastic. I find it to be the lowest tier of humor. Sir, I am here to tell you that this article is nothing but how many paragraphs? Uh, seven paragraphs of pure, pure nonsense. Yeah. This is pablum, sir. Pablum. Uh, I will continue to read it, though. When Alden Ehrenreich signed on to play the young Han Solo in Solo, A Star Wars Story, Harrison Ford sat down with the young actor to give him some advice. He said, yeah, just play it uh, three times and then uh, let some guy who... Um, yeah, sodomized Lena Dunham, run you through with a lightsaber and end your life. That is the advice Harrison Ford probably gave Alden Ehrenreich. Probably. Probably. I don't know what other advice he'd have to give. Ford spoke about his experiences playing the iconic character as well as sharing some conversations that he had with George Lucas about the changes Han Solo went through over the years. Right there, Alden Ehrenreich is at an advantage because he was able to get invaluable advice where Harrison Ford had to pretty much go in blindly. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, just like Walt Disney had to go in blindly in creating Mickey Mouse. I don't know how he did it. He had no Walt Disney to help him draw Mickey Mouse. He had to just go in blindly. Well, I mean, you know, he had eye works. Um, uh, Alden Ehrenreich will be uh, also be playing a different version of Han Solo. That's a convenient excuse. Ron Howard has spoken out recently about this fact, pointing out that the young actor is not just trying to do a carbon copy of what Harrison Ford did in the original Star Wars trilogy. Um, that is, we're all excusing Alden Ehrenreich here. Okay? Ehrenreich has said that his version in Solo is, quote unquote, more as of an idealist. When I think of Han Solo, I think of idealism. Uh, which is quite different from the Corellian smuggler we've all come to know so well. We're going to see those young hopes and dreams get crushed. Yeah, uh, we are. We're going to see young hopes and dreams get crushed in the movie theater, um, leading to the Harrison Ford version we all currently know. Um, hopefully we're going to see uh, hopes and dreams get crushed over at Disney as well. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy, everyone who is has put their faith in her, uh, their hopes and dreams will also be crushed, hopefully, when the box office does not even come close to $340 million, which is just the watermark, okay? That's it. It's just gotta, it's gotta reach that level. It's gotta reach that level, or everyone. Uh, it'll be a catastrophe. Everyone will lose their jobs. Solo also gives Alden Ehrenreich the distinction of playing, and by the way, that's just opening weekend. It has to do that opening weekend. We're not talking about total box office take. It's got to do that opening weekend. Or else, I fear your friends will have failed, uh, Kathleen Kennedy. Um, Solo also gives Alden Ehrenreich the distinction of playing the young Han Solo from two different angles, front and back. What do you mean? Younger Star Wars fans who aren't so familiar with the original trilogy could end up liking the young idealist version of Han. Um, turning into the hardened realist better than what uh, Harrison Ford did. But what do they know? What do young people know? Stop talking about young people like they know anything. They don't know anything. All they know is what you put in their heads. You put Harrison Ford in their heads and then you let them compare Harrison Ford's Han Solo with whatever Alden Ehrenreich manages to spastically portray on the screen. Oh, I shouldn't say Whatever Alden's uh, efforts are. Uh, I think people will prefer Harrison Ford, even young people. Now, if they do not have the benefit of seeing Harrison Ford's brilliant performance, yeah, 
his legendary, iconic performance, they might indeed go for Aaron Reich. Yeah, Aaron Reich is able to go deeper. Is he really? Is he able to go deeper, Kathleen? And give fans a well-rounded look at this guy, showing different facets to his personality. Fans may enjoy the immature and inexperienced version of Han meeting up with the underworld for the first time and watching all the changes happen. There's no doubt that Alden Ehrenreich has some big shit. Why do people keep saying that? What is uh, the size of Harrison Ford's boot? I'm going to guess it's an 11. I think uh, I can do I'm I can more than fill that. I'm an 11 and a half. Uh, I would say Alden Ehrenreich is probably, a, a you know, maybe he might be an 11. He might be an 11 and a half as well. Might be a 12. Might be a 12. I don't, I don't even know his height. Let's look at him in comparison with Rose Tico. Uh, Rose Tico is uh, about three feet tall, and if we put the scale Han Solo figure next to Rose Tico, we can see that he is a good four foot six, probably. Yeah, so I'm guessing he's, he's got a decent shoe size. Um, but we'll see. We will see. I, I just don't know why they keep saying that about shoes. Shoes being filled. However, the young actor may end up shocking everyone and overshadowing Harrison Ford's portrayal of Han Solo. I insist that he does. Seriously, it could happen, wink. You, got, you don't have to... I don't know why, I, I don't know why this article exists. Solo, a Star Wars story, will show the young... This, this article entirely exists for me to read it. Doesn't it, Kevin? Well, you got your wish. You got your way. Yeah, this Rose Tico enthusiast did read your article. I hope you're happy. I hope you feel good about yourself. Uh, I, I don't know what you're... What, do I need, am I going to read the rest of this? Though, even if that does eventually happen, that Aaron Reich is the superior Han Solo, I'm baffled by this. I'm baffled. Run amok. Many, if not almost all of us, will be blind to it simply because of what Han Solo's, uh, or Harrison Ford's Han Solo meant to us. He means a lot. He means a lot. Uh, so here is the official trailer. I am not going to watch that because they will immediately demonetize my video. Uh, as we've seen, Disney has their eyes on me. So does their garbage tier uh, media. Uh, they are trolling this channel left and right. Guys, keep trolling us. It's fine. We can take it. We can. My audience can take whatever you dish out, movie web. You and your 30 shares on Facebook. We can we can take whatever you have to dish out and give it right back to you. You want to give us salt? We'll give you salt right back in your face. Salt right in your face. Uh, thank you, Kevin Berwick. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, fingers crossed. We are now just 16 days and counting. T minus 16 days until my review of Soylo, a Soy Wars Soy Ray. Stay tuned. Bless you, bless all of you, bless all of you that support this channel, whether you just watch all the videos and click like, whether you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, whether you've recommended these videos to friends, or whether you are actually a Patreon patron, you donate, you've pledged a dollar per month to this channel, or more, or whether you're a super chat offerer during our, one of my live streams, uh, I really appreciate all of you, thank you so much, this channel wouldn't be where it is without you.